saw that Jacob did not love Leah, God opened the womb of Leah and he bore children. So the first, the first child that he bore was Reuben. He said, because I was not loved by my husband. The second one that is born was Simon because he said that uh, uh, maybe, you know, this time my husband will love me. Then the third one was Levi. He says, yeah, you know, my, 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 my husband will be attracted to me now. But when he says that all those things does not change uh, Jacob, then when he had the fourth born, then he, he named him Judah, meaning I will praise the Lord. And God was so happy with judah because you see of all the tribe of judah bible says judah is my sanctuary that means judah is the headquarters of god judah is where god resides judah is his praises to god but continue uh that psalm when you continue further down so when when they moved out there was the presence of god with them and what happens verse three the sea saw it and fled why they were going but they were carrying the presence of god and so she saw them and fled go ahead don't don't move that jordan turned back the mountains keep like ram the little is like lamb five what else you see that you fled <laughs> oh jordan that you turn back six oh mountain that you skip like ram oh little is like lamb seven tremble at all oh, at at the presence of god at the presence of the god of jacob so when you when you carry the presence of god that is what you are carrying him and that comes by praise hallelujah what is praise praise is to glorify god praise is to appreciate god praise is to brag about god when you are praising god you are acknowledging god for who he is for his person when you are praising god you are e, 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 praising god shift your attention from yourself and shift your attention to god the man of god said there should never be any christian that is downcasted or depressed anyone that is depressed as a as a christian has already failed And, and, and we, we seem to think that when we are depressed, God will have sympathy. No. Why? Because you are shifting your attention on yourself. I'm sure you know this. Many things that appear to be a big deal, at the end of the day, is not a big deal. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> when things happen, the first instance, your, your heartbeat is, rate is increased. Your pressure increase everything but when you find that at the end of the day is a flake it's not really going to hurt you anything and the thing to do about it is to bring the presence of god into it via the agency of praise because when you bring when you shift your attention from the problem onto god god takes care of the problem no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just telling you what it happens. So praise is to glorify God. Is to say good things about God. Is to remember what he has done. When you praise him for the five loaves and the two fishes that you have, it will be multiplied. But when you complain, it will decrease. Am I talking to somebody? Open your Bible, Psalm 50, 23. Many times you are bragging on your, on, your, on your daddy, bragging on your company, bragging on your connection. You need to brag on God. Show how majestic, how wonderful, what he has done. See, we're going to get to that. Oh my God, my time is flying. Anyway. Yes, Psalm 50, verse 23. Hmm. I, I, I need another version. Whoever offer praise, glorify me. That's good. Whoever offer praise, 
so when you offer praise you are glorifying god and when you glorify god you what does it mean to glorify god it means that you're what you are bestowing honor you are admiring him you are praising him you are exalting him there is no case that is too difficult for praise to solve let me tell you a, a story i have from kenna egan kenna egan told of a man of god is also used to be a minister a family healing minister and then he fall, he fell sick and because he was a healing minister he went to all the healing evangelists they lay hand on him they anointed him with oil and everything and nothing happened he did not get well so he was so sick and so weak that he had to go and live with his parents and the parents live in the in the uh, in the country so one day <coughs> The man made up his mind he went into the bush and said you know today we are going to screw this off and then because of his sickness he, he was so weak you can hardly hear him talk so he went to the to the bush and began to praise god little by little you're a wonderful god begin to sing praises begin to you know adore god sing and sing and sing and praise god and praise god and the man that was praising God got caught up. Didn't know that his voice was so high. He couldn't he could barely speak behind a whisper before. But as he was praising God, the power of God came upon him. And he began to sing. And they can hear him miles away. And every sickness instantly was healed. I, I, why? God does some what the americans would call crazy things in praise go to exodus 15. eleven yes mm -hmm. yes yes uh-huh fearful in praises in praises god does fearful things wondrous things things that you you can't you you <laughs> it's beyond the wonders when you begin to praise him hallelujah praise is shifting the attention shifting your battle from yourself and shifting it onto god praise god now how can you praise god you can only praise god out of a joyful heart see you can only praise him when 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 there's joy in your heart and you can only get to joy in one way one way you can get to joy and that way is through the agency of the word of god number my number two point now what i will give you for an illustration on that maybe i'll just stop on that you see the, the bible verse that we read there was a war and people came against jehoshaphat and judah and he said we are not going to fight these people we don't have any instrument any weapon the weapon we are going to use is the weapon of praise and they begin to praise god I mean, although when we read it, it looks like okay, they begin to praise God, but in reality, there's somebody carrying AK for uh, a what's it called AK 47, people with uh, with uh, with bomb and all kind of stuff. And then you said, uh, Who is going to lead? You said, This guy, <laughs> see, this man shaking his head already. <laughs> we say, You lead, you're going to be on the piano. And then somebody you be the the ah why is you're not even the real word that you're shaking that is why because they understood the power of praise that's why they can step out in boldness and begin to sing and when they begin to sing what happens god Bible says, and the lord set abushment the same thing happened you know in the book of of act of apostle when Paul and Silas were put in prison 
as they begin to worship God and praise God, God came down. They don't have to do anything. Hallelujah. But I want to leave you with this point before I round up today. See, the reason why we are not joyful, the reason why we are down all the time, number one, you know, is that we are too focused on ourselves. Number two is because we don't have the word of God in us. And we don't believe in the integrity of the word of God. So my number two point would be that, number two, the God's word is the, is the stimulant for praise. God's word is the stimulant for praise. Now, there is a man called David. And uh, before he became a king, the king of the land had armies and all the the armies of Saul were looking for this single guy called David but they couldn't arrest him they tried everywhere he was the one that was that had the opportunity to kill Saul on two occasions why the man is a man that is full of praise in Psalm 119 verse 164 David said, seven times I praise you. Seven times. See, the word of God is what gives you the stimulant to praise God. It's what gives you joy that makes you praise God. Because in the word is full of the integrity of God. What God has done for you, what God is able to do for you, what God will do for you. In the book of Psalm, he said, Why are you downcast my soul? Put up hope and sing praise to God. Because God has solution to every problem. The, 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 the problem is we don't have the word in our heart. You have to celebrate the word of God. You have to know the word of God. There is, there is no substitute for that. There is no substitute because when you are full of the word, you will be full of joy. It's like somebody handed you a check of 20000 You hold it. You call the bank. They say it's good. I told them on, on uh, Friday, your attitude will change because there is money in your hand. Anytime you can, you can cash it. They can be, you can go to a restaurant and say, oh, uh, it's, it's uh, 300 but if you don't have no money then you will be, you look down and that is what is happening when you have the word you have the promise number one there are things that God has already done for us in redemption there are things that God has promised us those things you can bank on. You, you must know that it is the, the, the integrity of God is tied to his word. And this might, might even be a different subject. But let me tell you, just like every day you eat food, your food is converted to energy and the energy gives you power. So food is, the, uh, 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 food is what your body needs for strength. The word of God is what your spirit needs for faith. So most of the time, your, our faith is man, is 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 quite shocked. There is there is <laughs> is is man, man, uh. Thank you. There is no strength be, because you are not feeding it the word. The word is spirit. And the word is life. John 6, 63. The word is quick. And the word is powerful. In Hebrew 4, 4 12. You go for the see some other things there. So the word, you need to, when you fill your heart with the word. And, and, the, and the work of the Holy Spirit is to remind you. It will remind you when situation comes. Listen, I, 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 sometimes when people ask me something. And I answer. And the Spirit of God will say, you should have answered like that. See, when, when you answer, sometimes when you answer, people say, oh, who do you think you are? No, it is not pride. It is what God says about you. 
Bible says you shall be the head and not the tail. You might not be the head now, but that is what he promised you. Then you can act like, like the head. You can behave like the head. Am, am I talking to somebody? But you must know that word to act that way. Because when you, when you see it, you know, in, in, in God, believing is seen. So to see something promise you in the word of God, you got to believe first. That is the order. It is not uh, seeing is believing. No. Believing is seeing. So you have to believe what God says first. Then there will be manifestation. Somebody help me. Bible says in John 1 14, I say, and the word, the word, the word became flesh. What does that mean? The word of God, the promise of God would, would, tra would, would trans transform from the word on the pages of your Bible into what you want. The word of God would transform from the pages when you believe it into a child. The word of God would transform from the pages of the Bible when you believe it into uh, uh, the job, into prosperity. The believing is the first part before you see the manifestation. You can't see the manifestation first and then believe. They, they, it doesn't happen that way. One, one more thing as I, as I go down the mic. It is possible for us to be blessed without praises. But to maintain your blessing, you need to praise. The king called Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel 4, 30. Bible says he was walking in his temple and said... <laughs> My hand has built this. See what I've done. See this. See that. And then the voice came from heaven. And said because you do not acknowledge God. And don't give him glory. You are going to live with animals for seven years. But after seven years. The Bible says concerning Nebuchadnezzar. His senses return. And then he said I now give praise to God. You must always give praise. Because if you don't give praise to God, God is angry. Rather than complaining, give praise. Let me give one more point and I run them. There are things that, three things that God hears all the time. God hears your prayer. God hears your complaint. And God hears your praise. Either you speak it with your husband you, you, you whisper to his ear or you speak it in a conversation or you speak it anywhere God hears complain and is angry at people that complain let us bow down here let us pray this afternoon I want God to help us to cultivate the habits of praise and is a conscious act of your will nothing is going to jump on you to make you <laughs> praise God you have to decide by yourself that I'm going to praise God I want to ask God today God give me the grace the grace to praise you at all times the grace to honor you, to glorify you despite what is happening the grace to shift attention from myself and to shift attention to you and to begin to glorify him and begin to praise him and begin to brag upon him we have many things we can brag upon God for things that he has done for us in the past when you are at a corner and you, know, you, you believe nothing can help you but God should help those are things you can help him about you can you just glorify him for who he is he is the alpha and the omega just you, you can do that lord give me the grace today give me the grace give me the grace give me the grace to praise you at all times i want to stay to god again lord i want to be a a a, a, a student of your word I want to be a student of your word. The word of God is quick and powerful. Bible says it is sharper than any two-edged sword. Lord, let me let your my delight be in your word. My delight, let it be in your word. Psalm one one from one says, "This is he, he, the blessed is he who delight is in the law of the Lord." In, in verse two, in, in, and, in, and in his law he meditates 
day and night. I want my delight to be in you. I want to be full of praise all the time. Oh, Lord, Daddy, will thank you. And I pray also to God. God, forgive me. Where I've complained, I withdraw every complaint. I cancel every complaint. Everywhere that my complaint has put me deeper in problem, my complaint has made the situation even worse. Lord, forgive me today. I don't know. Now I know better. From this day, I want to sing praise with understanding. From this day, I begin to worship you despite what I'm going through. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Spirit of God, quicken that joy. I am of the tribe of Judah. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. There's, there's a spirit of Judah in every one of us. The spirit of praise the spirit of praise father give me that praise now that's praying i quicken it in me so i can praise you so i can worship you so i can honor you so i can magnify you oh lord we thank you thank you lord we thank you we give you praise In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Heavenly Lord, we thank you this afternoon for your word. We bless your holy name because you have spoken to us. Father, we say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word that we heard today, let it do us good in the name of Jesus. We become the doers of the word in the name of Jesus. We not become hearers alone in the name of Jesus. Let your word transform our lives in the name of Jesus. Spirit of God, come and dwell in us in the name of Jesus. The spirit to praise you all the time, we receive it in the name of Jesus. We are tired of complaining. Complaining will not do us anything. Father Lord, we will not be complaining all the time again in the name of Jesus. But we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus, because you have heard us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's clap. Clap for Jesus. That's a wonderful one. I want to thank God.